My name is Irene Gosovacha. I'm the technician in the Frank Lab, and we are here at UCSF at Mission Bay in the Center of Integrative Neuroscience. In this lab, we study learning and how mm -hmm. information that we have in our brain can be used to basically to make decisions and to behave. And specifically, we study hippocampus. Hippocampus um, is a site where it's, that is important for especially episodic memory for remembering facts and things about us. And it's the first structure that is affected by Alzheimer's disease, for example, and also by other neurogenerative diseases. So we are trying to find out what does hippocampus do to basically um, encode and store memories. And knowing that, we can probably have like what happens when the hippocampus doesn't function that well anymore. I grew up in a small town in Italy. My parents are pharmacists. I come out of a family of pharmacists. My grandparents are pharmacists, all my siblings, all my uncles, everyone. And I am a pharmacist too. I really like that job. It's a really interesting job in Italy. But in my last year, I came here to San Francisco to do my master thesis research in neuroscience. And I found out that I just really love to uh, think about the brain and how it works. And so I decided to stay here and like, take a job here and continue in this field. Right now I'm working on a project where I'm trying to record from a very tiny area in the brain and hippocampus at the same time to see how the, the small area modulates hippocampus functioning. It's very difficult and we have just done our first experiment looking at this and we have come very close. We have not quite made it to target this region, but we have come very close. And so I believe that next time I'm preparing these new drives to like try it again. And I believe we're going to make it. And that's going to then be very good. I mostly like learning a lot, how we are able to like uh, learn new things. And also like motivation. It's either we are motivated for something or we are not. Oftentimes it's out of our control. But if we are motivated, uh, we are able to do so much more than uh, that we can if we are not. Like our performance goes up so much and I'm very interested in finding out like how that happens and like um, why can, can we not control this because we would be, if we would always be motivated like it would be so much easier. We would be able to perform so much better. So these are the two things that fascinate me most about the way. I'm every day very excited about coming into the lab because working in a lab is not only working on your own experiments but it's also seeing what the people that are around you do, so every day exciting things happen. Obviously it's most exciting if I'm running an experiment and like taking data and like really finding out stuff, but every day is exciting because you can like every day learn something new or hear something exciting. Everyone in here is doing like cutting edge research, is doing things that no one has ever done before and so it can always happen that you learn something new, so it's very exciting. I think the research we do here is, it is basic research. It, um, it asks questions about how the brain learns and how it um, encodes and stores memories. So, so it is very basic, but in the end, like only finding out how that works will help to be able to cure diseases where we have impairments in learning and storing memories. So it really has an impact a little bit on the longer side because we t don't try to like develop treatments right here but without a basic understanding of how the brain works, we are not going to be able to find treatment. So it's very important, I think. I think everyone can go into science. Obviously, science is so broad. There are so, di so many different facets of it that I bet there is something for everyone. And everyone can do something as, a, as soon as, there's, as long as there's something that really grabs their interest. Like People are going to get into it, and they're going to be able to do it. So if there's a will, there's a way. But you have to always believe that you can, and you can if you want to.